This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. On this version of the test, this is question number four. Which equation has the same missing number as 50 divided by five equals missing number? So they'll give us some choices down here, 50 times five, 50 minus five, five plus something, five times something equals 50. So what we need to do is sort of figure out what goes in this missing section. So we can do that in a few different ways. It helps if you just know that 50 divided by 5, it's like, like 5 divided by 5 is 1, so you have the 0 left over. It's 5 divided by 5 is 1, so you'd have 1 here, and then the 0 is left over, so you have the 0. Or you may remember that 5 times 10 is 50, so you can do it reverse engineer is what that is. You know, work it backwards and get to your answer. So we're looking for a value of 10. If you don't, ev you don't even feel comfortable doing that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you'll keep going until you get all 50, and then you'll have each group with 10 on there. There's no shame in doing it that way. You have to do what you have to do to get by. It's fine. Test days are stressful. Now, I'm looking for a value that's going to be 10. Well, I know 5, 50 times 5 is way more than 10. Because that means I have, pretend you have 50 cents. Well, you have five of those. It's not going to be somehow smaller number than you started with. It's not going down to 10 cents. It's going to be $2.50. So this is out, even because it's this. Because five times five is 25, and then you have that zero tacked on. So that's not it. 50 minus five, what now? That's 45, no. Five plus 10 equals 50? I don't think so. I just found out that 50 minus 5 is equal to 45. So 5 plus 45 is equal to 50. So that's out. 5 times 10 is equal to 50. So S is the correct answer for this one. Now, if you look at it, you can see that they're just the, the two facts are connected together. 50 divided by 5, and then if you take the 10 times 5, it gives you 50. Well, there that is right there. So when you have this type of problem, if you can determine the missing number, that's great. If you need to draw a picture to do that, that's completely fine. And then look for an operation that sort of matches. If you have division and you're looking for the reverse, it's probably going to be multiplication, which could have eliminated the middle two. P and R would have been out even under those conditions. And then the idea that it could be 10, and if you have 50 times 5, that's way more. So that's unlikely to be it. This was the only reasonable choice. So again, the answer to number four is S.